Hello YouTubers, Paul here, your channel host, Welcome to my channel. Now tonight, seeing as we're just over a week into the um, 2012 series, I'm going to do a review of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here! Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the list of the celebrities that have taken part this year, um, say who, what they're famed for, um, tell you my predictions for who I th think will win, um, and also give a general re review of the show um of both shows the i'm celebrity get me out of here and also the iv2 show i'm a celebrity get me out of here now so here we go on the first night um the on the sunday night the um two groups were there was there was the celebrities were split into two groups croc creek um consisted of brian connolly who was obviously um comedian he's a comedian and actor um charlie brooks who plays um janine butcher in eastenders helen flanagan who played rosie webster i think in coronation street um linda robson who was in birds of a feather um and david hay who was a boxer and then the second group which was snake rock was consisted of eric bristol dart player Ashley Roberts, the Pussycat's doll, Colin Baker, Doctor Who, Hugo Taylor from The um, Only Way is Essex, and Nadine Dory's MP. And there's been a lot of fuss about her going into the jungle. And then, um, halfway through last week, two new celebrities joined them. Um, Rosemary, Rosie, sorry, Rosemary the Shiger, the, the chef, and Lamal, who, the uh, 80s pop star, I've never heard of him, but he sings Never Ending Story. I've never heard of him, though. Um, my predictions for the winners of this show, um, early predictions, and the early things of the show, um, I thought Brian Connolly, Br Eric Bristow, David Hay, Charlie Brooks, or Linda Robson would win. Out to narrow it down, possibly either Eric Bristow or David Hay. Um, and I was predicting that Helen um, Flanagan would quit the show because last week um, she refused to do five trials in a row because the public kept voting for her and she, she just wouldn't do them. Bloody useless as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, Eric Bristow or David Hay, I, th I would narrow it down to. Unfortunately, there was bad news tonight on the show um, when it was announced that Brian Connolly has had to be taken out of camp and due to medical reasons, so he's now out the running of the show. So that's him gone. Um, and the... Um, so I'm going to predict now Eric Bristow or David Hay and I'll do another video at the end of the series and I'll let you know if I've won or lost. <laughs> right. Um, also, um, a review of the two TV shows. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, and I'm a celebrity, get me out of here now. The ITV1 show is um, presented by Ant and Deck, which I've got to admit, I think they make the show. Um, I may be being a bit biased with them being Geordies, um, but I think that they actually make the show. I love the show for the live links. Um, they thrive on live TV. Um, the show Red or Black, you could tell it was pre-recorded and I don't think it worked for them. Saturday Night Takeaway and also I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. You can tell it's live TV and they thrive off it. Um, as for the ITV2 show, um, I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here now. What I like about this show is the behind the scenes element of it um, it's presented by Laura, Whit Laura Whitmore Joe Swash and last year they had um, Russell Kane in as the comedian this year they've got the resident um, Rob Beckett as the comedian who gives his views on the show and as I say I like it because of the behind the scenes the, um, and they're much more relaxed on the ITV2 show um, I'm not saying Ant and Deck are, rela are not relaxed, but ITV2, they just seem... It's hard to explain. 
Um, they have a you can hear the crew laughing more and everything. Um, but I like it more because of the behind the scenes, like when Joe Swash goes off to do the behind the scenes. Because I love behind the scenes of TV and film, and it's something that I want to get into. Um, but yeah, that's my review of I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here, 2012. As I say, my predictions are Eric Bristow or David Hay to win. Um, I'll make a uh, review at the end of the series to let you know if I'm right or wrong. So, fingers crossed.